on the 11th day before Christmas, Paulie's kitchen recipe, cabbage and butter, creamy mashed potato. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name's Paulie and this is my kitchen. In today's festive episode, I'm gonna show you how to make the fluffiest buttery mashed potatoes you'll ever have. And there's no boiling of them and it's absolutely incredible, which will leave your stovetop free to create other delicious things that you're going to be making for Christmas Day. So guys, if this is your first time here, do remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But guys, we're going to dive straight in. I'm going to show you everything that you need for this recipe. It's really simple and all the ingredients are here. So guys, don't worry if you do miss these ingredients. I will be putting those in the info box below. So do check out there and you'll catch them down there. So guys, we're going to dive straight in. The first thing we need to do is we need to take a baking tray and we need to take all of our potatoes and place them on here like this. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take a sharp knife and we're just going to put holes in all of our potatoes. All we need to do now is we're going to put these in the oven at 180 degrees or gas mark six for 90 minutes and let these cook up. See you in 90 minutes. So our potatoes have been in the oven for an hour and a half. So we're going to take one of these, which is a rack, and we're going to take them out of the oven. Right, these are very, very hot. As you can see, they're nice and soft. There's just one thing we need to do before we cut them open and take all the potato out, is that we need to sweat these off. So we're gonna take a large baking tray that's got big high sides, and we're just gonna pop all of our potatoes in here. Ooh, it's hot. Hot potato, hot potato, ah! Shouldn't be using my fingers, really. <laughs> so let's get rid of this. It's the best way to sweat them is with some cling film and all we're going to do is we are going to cling film these I'm just going to wrap this up so now that our potatoes have been in sweating for about 10 minutes we're going to open our cling film ah oh, lovely look at that and as you can see our potatoes are now a little cooler to the touch they're still hot but they're nice and soft let's take all this cling film off so all we need to do is we need to take a little knife and then we are just going to cut open each one just like this. So what we need to do now is we need to grab a glass bowl and pop that there. Just grab a spoon and what we're going to do is we're going to spoon out all of the soft potato from our baked potatoes. It's like a little cook's treat. You can put a little bit of butter in these and eat these, these taste absolutely delicious like that. So what we need to do now, we need to take our saucepan, we're gonna pour our cream in there, and our butter. Come yeah, on. We're gonna pop this on our stove. So we're gonna take our lighter, we're gonna light our stove. We're also gonna add a nice pinch of salt into there as well. So we're gonna heat our saucepan up until it looks like this. Then turn our heat down and we're going to add our mashed potato in. So we're just going to take our masher and we're just going to mash this all in. What we're going to do is we're going to move our saucepan over to this side. So all we need to do now is we need to take a nice bowl, nice big serving spoon, spoon our mashed potato. That is how you make creamy, fresh mashed potato from baked potatoes. It's the best recipe for mash out there. I promise you that. Definitely has a place at your Christmas table. So guys, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button if you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you're inspired. Happy cooking, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. I've got my lines. I've got my lines.